Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. Have you ever attended a time management seminar? In case you haven't, this is how the message usually works. They say this, by learning the suggested system of planning and taking a few short steps toward organizing your time more wisely, you will actually gain time for yourself so that you can do the things that are important to you. No longer will you have to live as a slave to your schedule, they say, crying for mercy as it flings you from task to task. There's a call to arms. You own your schedule. Your schedule doesn't own you. So raising your sword in the name of time management, you go home with a head full of ideas that are supposed to change your life for the better. It works for a while, but then you begin to lose your way and the old cries for mercy start coming from your lips again. Organizing your schedule is a valuable skill to cultivate, but there is something lacking at most time management seminars. They do indeed tell you how to manage your time. The problem is they don't instill you with any real power to do it. They try. Some hope that once you learn the needed skill, this in itself will give you the desire to put your knowledge into practice. Some try to spur you on through the use of warnings. Exhibit A. Fred Peters lost a million dollar account because he failed to organize his schedule. But what they all seem to be telling us is that when it comes to planning, we aren't doing enough worrying. That's the message from the managers. But what do we hear from the owner, the one who created us, the one who created time in the first place? To all who feel bound in chains to an unyielding schedule, who are faced daily with their limitations, who are crying for mercy, the Bible actually says, so do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear, for the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Worry is not the way to improve your time management. The opposite is true. Listen to the best time, adman- time management advice ever written. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. The reason for seeking God's kingdom is that it is a kingdom of peace. Every time we listen to the story of God's love for our fallen world, every time we hear tell of Jesus, God's son, who willingly paid the full price for every sin, God is there, working to extend the borders of his kingdom into our hearts and lives, reaching to draw us closer to himself. God hasn't promised to take away the things that make us worried. Instead, He's taken away our sin. He wants us to know he's on our side so that we can face each challenge with confidence. We still need to manage our time, but we don't need to be driven by worry. Are you bearing the burden of a hundred things on your calendar? Stop thinking about the hundred things for a moment and give yourself some time to consider this one thing. You have peace with God through Jesus, the world's Savior. We'll see you next time.